Hi kindergarten and first grade, it's Miss Anderson here. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Um, it is Thursday today, so today is our music lesson. So I am going to start us out with our hello song, so everybody sit up nice and straight with me. And we are going to sing our hello song together. Take a big breath in, let it out. One more big breath in, let it out. All right, here we go, ready? One, two, ready, go. I'd like to say hello to you. I'm glad you're here today. We'll sing some songs and have a good time. The North March of Flex Way. Don't forget to give a smile and clap your hands today. We'll sing some songs and have a good time. The North March of Flex Way. Good job. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we are going to sing the first part. We are going to sing it slow, which in music is, what's the word for slow in music? It should be andante, right? Everyone say andante. All right, and then the second part we're gonna sing fast, and the word for fast in music is allegro. Everyone say allegro. All right, here we go. Sing it nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. I'd like to say hello to you. I'm glad you're here today. We'll sing some songs and have a good time. The North Metro Flex Way. Now, Allegro. Don't forget to give a smile and clap your hands today. We'll sing some songs and have a good time. The North Metro Flex Way. Nice job, kindergarten and first grade. All right, so I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, I have a story for us today, okay? It's called The Legend of Peer Gint, and it goes along with a song called In the Hall of the Mountain King. So I'm gonna have us listen to just a little bit of In the Hall of the Mountain King, and then I'm going to read the story for you guys, all right? So In the Hall of the Mountain King, it starts out really quiet, okay? See if you can hear it. I hope that you can hear it. Okay, it starts out really quiet. There's a lot of different instruments in there. And then I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. It gets a little bit, a little bit louder. And then it gets really loud and really fast. Okay, and what kind of feelings do you feel when you when you hear that music? Okay, when we hear this music like right here, especially when we get to this section, when it gets really fast. What kind of what kind of feelings does that make you feel? It makes me feel kind of tense or scared, right? Okay, and we're gonna find out why when I tell you this story. Okay, so this is called The Legend of Peer Gint. So it's not Peter, it's Peer. It's kind of a weird, a weird name. All right, so there once was a little boy named Peer Gint. He was a very bad boy. He stole things, he played tricks on people, and he never, never, never helped his mother or father. Everybody disliked Peer Gint. Nobody really liked Peer Gint. One day, he went to a wedding. There he met the most beautiful girl in the whole world. He knew in, the, in that instant that he saw her, that he was in love. Pierre wanted to marry this wonderful girl, but that would not happen because her parents had heard about Pierre and they didn't like him very much. They told Pierre to leave their daughter alone because she would never, ever, ever marry him. Poor Pierre's heart was broken he knew that he could not stay in the village seeing this girl because it was too painful for his heart. So he ran away from the village and into the mountains where he could be alone forever. But little did Pierre know that along his way he would have many, many adventures. Pierre Gint arrived at the Hall of the Mountain King. He was then surrounded by many, many ugly trolls, captured and taken before the king. So the trolls captured him, they took him, 
and they took him before the king. At first, the king was not happy to have an intruder in their kingdom, but Peer assured him that he was looking for a new home and perhaps he would be allowed to live there. So the mountain king was also a troll. Um, the king the king finds that he likes this young man and suggests that Pierre could marry his daughter. She was beautiful, but not as beautiful as the girl from town. The king decided that Pierre would have to become a troll to marry his daughter. Do you think Pierre wants to become a troll? Maybe. I don't, I don't think I would. Do you guys, would you guys want to become a troll? That night, when he was alone in his bedroom, Pierre began to think about, how the, king, about the king's plan. He decided he did not want to become a troll, but now he had a problem. How can he say no to the king without making him super, super mad? He decided he had better sneak out of the mountain right while, right while it was still dark. He filled his pockets with jewels from the castle and quickly made an exit across the castle's drawbridge and into the valley of the mountain. Pierre tiptoed through the halls of the mountain so very quietly, but unfortunately there were troll guards along the way who heard him. A chase begins as Pierre frantically tried to escape. At least the trolls started to surround, at last the trolls started to surround Pierre. He was sure he was going to be captured and turned to face them. They captured him and found out that his pockets were filled with gold and jewels that he had stolen from the king. He was dragged back to the king's castle where he was put in prison and he would, until he was finally until he finally agreed to marry the king's daughter. All right. So he he stole all those jewels and stuff from the castle and he ran away cuz he didn't want to marry that troll and then they caught him and they brought him back and they put him in prison and then he ended up marrying the king's daughter. Okay? So when we listen to the song, we can kind of hear that story in the song like right at the beginning okay so this is when he's when he's in the hall of the mountain king and he's sneaking out right so he's thought about the king's plan and he's not too happy about becoming a troll so he's trying to sneak out like this so do this way. he's sneaking out right he's looking around for trolls because he doesn't want to be caught by the trolls right Okay, and then when we get here, right about here, right about there, when it gets louder and faster, that's when I think the trolls finally saw him and they start chasing him, right? And it gets really fast and really slow. And then the ending part here is when they capture him and they put him back in prison. So let's go. So you can imagine what that last part is. Um, I like to imagine it's those prison doors shutting behind him, right? Boom, boom, boom. All right, so I have a little bit of a <clears throat> activity we're gonna do with that. So it goes like this. So at the beginning, we start out sneaking, right? So we're just gonna sneak like this. So you're gonna take your hands, and you're gonna point them like this, make little feet, and you're gonna sneak. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Then when we get into a little bit, a little bit more, we're gonna go pat, pat, clap, clap, snap, snap, clap, clap. Do that with me. Ready? Go. Clap. Or sorry. Pat, pat, clap, clap, snap, snap, clap. Do it again. Pat, pat, snap, snap. Clap, try it again. Pat, pat. One more time. Ready? Pat, pat, clap, clap, snap, snap, clap, clap. All right, good job. Okay, so you're gonna follow me when we do this. And I want you, when, we, when we're doing this activity, I want you to listen to the music and try to remember the story and see when you think that the trolls finally catch him, okay? All right, so here we go. Remember, we're gonna start off really sneaky with our hands like this. Okay, ready? We're sneaking, sneak. 
lurking in the halls of the mountain. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, here we go. Ready? We're going to pat. Pat, pat, Stay away from the trolls. So that's the story of Peer Gint in the Hall of the Mountain King. So that's a fun one, a fun one to do. Um, we're going to do one more thing today. We're going to have kind of a, of a short lesson this week. But last week we learned a song called Baby Beluga. Did any of you guys look up what a beluga is? I heard that maybe a couple of you looked up what a beluga is. If you didn't, see if you can look one up. Um, they are, well, let's see. They are whales that live in the ocean, and they look like, I'll show you. They look like that. So that is a beluga whale. So that's what we're singing about, our, um, our baby belugas. Aren't they cute? They're so cute. All right. So if you know the song, I want you to sing with me. We learned it last week. Okay, so remember the first part goes, baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. All right, let's see if we can do it with the guitar here. All right, we're gonna sing it a couple times. Sing nice and loud with me, ready? Baby beluga in the deep blue sea. Swim so wild and you swim so free. Heaven above and the sea below and the little white whale on the go. Baby beluga, oh baby beluga. Is the water warm? Is your mama home with you? So happy. Way down yonder where the dolphin play where you dive and splash all day waves roll in and the waves roll out see the water squirting out of your spout baby beluga oh baby beluga sing your little song sing for all your friends will like to hear you when it's dark and you're home and fed curl up snug in your water bed moon is shining and the stars are out good night little whale good night 
kindergarten first grade um, that is about all I have for you today keep singing songs um, you can learn some songs on your own um, I know last week we did um, I've been working on the railroad so we might do that one again next week and I might have some other ones that we're gonna learn too so keep singing um, last week remember we played poison pattern so you can play that with um, the people in your house if you want to do that again this week because that's fun. Um, but I will see you next week. See you guys later.